The way to reverse it is to be on the goodbye lupus protocol, right? And if you're taking warfarin, otherwise known as Coumadin, that interferes with your food intake, right? That your INR can be disturbed by it. So here's your options. Please help. I have antiphospholipid syndrome and I'm not sure what to eat supplements to take to reduce inflammation because they mess with vitamin K. I want to reduce inflammation, but I'm not sure how. And I've actually answered this many times, but it's a very important issue. I had antiphospholipid antibody syndrome too. As I mentioned in the beginning of this Q&A, in my mid-20s, I was having mini strokes from it. So I had it severely and it was causing me major problems. I had clots everywhere. Every fingernail was dotted with red. I was getting double vision. So I, I know what it's like. So here's, here's what you can do, all right? The way to reverse it is to be on the goodbye lupus protocol, right? And if you're taking warfarin, otherwise known as Coumadin, that interferes uh, with, your, with your food intake, right? That your INR can be disturbed by it. So here's your options. Number one, you can do what I did and a lot of other people have done and just switch the medicine. So I took the injectable medicine instead, and I was able to eat whatever I want. I know it's no fun to inject yourself every day. I did it for many years. I know what it's like, but then you can eat whatever you want. So I did that. And then once my antibodies disappeared and I lo no longer tested positive for lupus or antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, then I discontinued my injections. Although that was the last medicine I gave up because I was scared. I, I took my blood thinners for a year after I was lupus free and had no antibodies because I did not want to have a stroke. Uh, I never planned on, listen, I, I wasn't going to be a professional athlete. All of my investment in myself was in here. <laughs> and so the idea of having a major stroke and, and losing my ability to work and function terrified me. So that was the last one that I gave up, but no interference, right? And I've never relapsed. It's been October will be 18 years that I'm, that I'm lupus free and, and have not had an antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and I've had two kids, right? So that's one. You can switch it. So there's injectables and there's other oral medicines out there now that didn't exist 30 years ago when I first got sick, or I guess now it's like 20 years ago since I had APA. Uh, there are other oral meds now that do not have any dietary restriction. A lot of doctors don't like to try them because they are less tested. Doctors like to do what's tried and true. And since Coumadin has been around forever and it works, they usually will defer to that one. But there are other options that you can talk to your doctor about, okay? The third option would be to stick with the Coumadin slash Warfarin, but get a home INR machine, talk to your doctor and say, hey, I want to start eating really healthy, which means eating a lot of vegetables, but I don't want to start clotting. Can you work with me on adjusting my medication so my INR stays stable while I'm taking uh, the medicine and getting healthy? And that has worked well too. I had somebody recently in my rapid recovery group who's in healthcare, so she knew how to use a home INR machine. And she just kept adjusting her medicine until it was the right dose of medicine to go with her diet so she could reverse her disease and not let a medicine keep her from being able to do so. Okay, so that is the way and you can do that and it should work for you. Okay, so talk to your doctor about those things.